the then Gambian president created the presidential alternative treatment to distribute his fraudulent HIV AIDS cure from 2007. The treatment program continued till 2016 when Jame was voted out of power. The CC has more. Medical experts who had appeared before the commission said that there is no cure for HIV AIDS. Dr. Malik Njai, the former chief medical director at the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, on Tuesday told the Truth Commission that Jambe had himself said he can cure HIV AIDS. However, Njai said that was never possible because the virus doesn't have a cure. Because nectar. Then and now, we still do not have a cure for HIV. Yeah. I was absolutely certain of what I was saying. Yeah, no, 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 what we could do was control the disease. And up to today, worldwide, there is only one case that's supposed to have been cured. And further investigation of that case has revealed that the condition that that person had and the way he was treated was what rendered him virus free. Like previous expert witnesses, Dr. Ndai said HIV AIDS can only be managed but it can be cured. That was the first time that he said to me that he can cure HIV. And that uh, he wanted to come to the hospital to start treating HIV patients. Reports indicated that Jambes presidential alternative treatment program disrupted decades of HIV campaign work and had negatively impacted vital HIV services and recharge partnerships. But how was the treatment program carried out by Jambe? Dr. Njai gave an account of the treatment procedure on the first day of the program. First patient, he got him on a table. I've got technical table. And he went round him, holding his Quran. And reciting some things that I don't know. Was he reciting verses from the Quran? I wasn't sure because it was not clear enough for people to know what he was saying. But when I asked him, he said that's his secret. The presidential alternative treatment program is said to have made it difficult for healthcare workers to effectively deliver health and counseling services to HIV AIDS patients. Many living with HIV reported that they experienced the same or increased level of discrimination because of the program. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am DCC. Witnesses continue to appear before the Truth Commission to give their testimonies of Jammes' HIV alternative treatment. 